Implantation failure is part of what we call that dreaded diagnosis of unexplained infertility. People are putting out so much time, effort, money, and emotion, and yet the doctors can't even tell them why they're not going to be blessed with a child. If you're not going to get a kid, you at least want to know it wasn't something I did, there's nothing that I took or did in college, etc. So for unexplained failure of implantation, we would say that it's usually about two cycles of really good embryos, day three or day five, that are transferred to proper number, easy transfer, the cycle looks great, but the outcome is either not getting pregnant or even worse, those early slowly rising HCG levels where everybody knows it's just a matter of time. So implantation failure means quality in embryos, not implanting or not continuing. We have dramatically improved, especially in women over 35, successful ongoing pregnancies by evaluating the cavity first carefully and then by improving the growth in the lab. What we're trying to do is find the very best embryos morphologically, improve their conditions that they're growing in so that they're healthier and more mature when they go in. And what we've noticed is that instead of getting those biochemical pregnancies, those early pregnancy tests, oh, was it the HCG shot, was it not the HCG shot, we're getting less bleeding before the test and we're getting much better heart rates. Or in other words, the clinical pregnancy rate is better. But again, it's not for everybody. If you've got a 22-year-old and she just has a male factor, may not help. If you've got someone who's 32, 33, which is very young, half my age, okay? Those people, it's absolutely important to say is, what can I do to improve implantation? And so if it's quality in, quality out, good sperm, good egg, and if you were to put them in some other uterus, they would work. But not everybody wants to do that. Not everyone wants a gestational carrier or surrogate. What we're trying to do is give you the chance of having nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, breast tenderness, and a 30% chance of C-section because you're going to be a good incubator if we can make those embryos better.